awesome. Oh my god, man. So different than the other beaches we go to most of the time. So we're out here in Montauk. We're driving around the Napaquag Harbor right now. This is sweet. Yeah, definitely a nice change of scenery. Definitely very different conditions that we did have to adapt to, but definitely an enjoyable day. Sand is a lot softer, so always make sure you're airing down. Here it's a little bit rocky, but coming out of Hither Hills, it gets super soft. You just gotta pay attention. There's all kinds of stuff out here that uh, the other more tame beaches don't have. So you gotta, you gotta keep an eye out, especially uh, all the old trash. We're looking for a spot to get over to the other side right now. Hopefully this, okay, it looks like this is what we were looking for. So now we're just crossing through to the Napaquag Harbor side. Yeah, you can see the other side. Here's the harbor. This is sweet. to look out because all that stuff will kill your tires. Especially air down. Yeah. So right now we're in four high, just got the CDL locked. And uh, yeah, handling it great. So now we're headed back to go through Hither Hills to the woods. Check out the lighthouse. So here we are on a really just gravel section, but very sandy gravel, very different conditions. You got to drive different. As Mike, as you can tell, Mike can barely keep the car straight. Yeah, it's just sinking in and trying to pull into people's ruts. Now we're back on some sand. You can see how it has improved substantially, especially Mikey's driving. Highly recommend if you don't have one, get an ultra gauge or something that reads your temp. We're running at 221 right now, working super hard in this soft sand. So always keep an eye on your temp. All right, it looks like the Tacoma is still here. Yep, but he's nowhere to be seen. He's not in it. Nobody on this beach. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe, maybe a program. Walked, or walk to the other side. I don't think you're walking across those dunes, but you never know. All right, so we're approaching Hither Hills um, Woods soon. So that's what's going to take us back to the highway to continue out to the end uh, to the lighthouse. It is definitely super cool here on a foggy day. What'd you say, Mikey? Here we are, we have arrived at the uh, inlet to uh, the trails. It is super soft here. And back on to the trails we go. What do you like better, Mikey? The sand beach or the trails? It's kind of hard. They're both fun. You know, the sand definitely is a lot harder on the truck, uh, especially out here. You sink in a lot more. Um, trails are fun. I mean, there's nothing really crazy here. A few little rocks, a few 
few little puddles. Um, you know, it all depends what you want to do. And I enjoy doing both. Here we are, descending down a trail. So this takes us down to a pond, but we're not gonna go all the way down to the pond. Just going down here real quick. Some little puddles. There, we'll make a little splash. So, actually, maybe we'll stop at the pond. As you can see straight ahead, kind of through the woods, uh, it's a fresh pond. Pretty cool scenery out here. Driving right into the pond, it's fresh water. Yeah. Definitely a great Too bad place. we can't drive across it. Yeah, definitely a great spot if you're a uh, freshwater fisherman. Uh, come out here. Yeah, I wonder if you're allowed to fish or hunt. You are allowed to fish here. A lot of fun. Yeah. We're going to head back now. Make our way out of the woods. And um, head over to the Montauk Lighthouse. So, anyway, that trail looks fun. Maybe we should drive up it real quick. Back here. Yeah. Let's see how it comes out on video. You can tell we're locked. Mind enough. I know, the video's ahead. rolling the whole time. Deeper terrain. I don't know where this goes. Here, let's try out this hill. What did you say, Mikey? That'd be like a 30 or 40 feet increase right there? Probably. Alright, just a little turn around in the woods. And then you get a much nicer view of the uh, whole fresh pond area. It's yeah. quite big. It seems like it goes back there a ways. Yeah. Alright, let's head out, cross over the train tracks. About to hit the railroad crossing. It's important to uh, make sure there's not a train coming. That would be a good idea. Now you're gonna look that way, you're gonna look that way. Hopefully not get killed. There we go. Alright, we're gonna stop and take some reels and photos, so uh, be sure to check it out on Instagram, Disco 2 Overland. So, how do you think these people paved in the middle of the woods? How far do you say we are from the main paved road? A mile or so, maybe. Yeah. And of really bad terrain. Yeah. Definitely no semi trucks getting out here. You know, you gotta have that 4x4. Four four. Right now, we're running parallel to the train tracks. 
can kind of see them through the woods. And we're just heading out. Off to the next beach. The next good time and the uh, next... Should be out here hunting, bud. Alright guys, so we just stopped to take some reels and uh, kind of got a little covered in mud. That's what we like to say. Here we are. To the highway, we are going to the lighthouse. Let's unlock the diff. New paint job. How you guys like it? The bloody special is now brown. Over here is not that bad. Check out the front end. Totally brown. Hell yeah. Smell of burning mud. That Rome bin is looking nice and muddy up there too. Yeah. We're gonna have to clean the light bar before we go home. Yeah, we're gonna need that. And the lights up top. Yep, you love to see it. Let's go to the lighthouse. Ready, mud. So we officially know how much mud it takes to rain mud while you drive down the road. Because yep. that's what happens when you. Dude, look at it all over the, the sides of the windshields. Oh my god, and man. And the window. Look, check out that window. Somebody has to got a lot of work pressure washing. Tomorrow, huh? Yep. So, we arrived to Montauk Point. And we're taking this little access road out to the beach. And yet more mud. I think we have enough mud. So this beach is a lot more rockier, as you can see. Got the lighthouse, Christmas lights, very cool. So, I'm gonna take some pictures for Instagram. What do you think, Tom? Sounds good. Can we fit? Can we fit? I think we got it. I think we do. Not by much, though. No. All right, we're in. Super soft sand. You just ran over a little log. That's exactly what you don't want to do. Rocky up here. This is, this is what we like. Maintain yeah. a lot of traction. No sinking. No, just a rattly ride in the old disco. Yo, Tom, this is sick. Definitely great way to end the day. It is a great way to end the day. We got some dirt, some mud, some rocks. We found this big rope, so now it's part of the truck. We're out here at the Montauk Lighthouse. Got their lights on it. I mean, this is sweet. What's better than this? Nice. All right, this sand up here we almost sank in. It started sliding. You can probably see my tracks when we're close so up. Mikey needs to get some. So get on some, the gas. I need some momentum. But um, it's a very steep beach here. Yeah. Who knows how the uh, video is? Uh, probably all over the place, but you get the point. It's freaking sick. So we're gonna stay a little bit high and get some speed, which is fine. All right, we're good. We're right through it, sliding a little bit, and now we just gotta go right through this rock and not hit it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I know. 
we're back on the safe side and uh, it was interesting. It was interesting. Mm. Right there guys, we have uh, a little friend out there, a little seal. Bob is head in the water. Rough day, I guess he's going down for fish. Just stopped for a second. You gotta love the smell of burning mud. Check this out. Everything. We have to clean the light bar. That thing's so bright, it'll go right through it. Successful day out here in Montauk. Did not have quag. Came here to the point, Hither Hills. A lot of fun. So we're gonna go out and air up now and uh, start heading back home. We have about a two hour ride. So yeah, a lot of fun, right Tom? Lots of fun, my friend. It was awesome. All right, let's go air up. Quickly just drove up a little pile of uh, RCA and um, we got all the way up to the top. What I think I thought we would hit the bumper, but we hit something else. Bye bye drop hitch. We're currently taller than the truck right now in the back. This is hilarious. We're just gonna quickly air up. We came here to air up and then saw this pile. But um yeah, airing up. If you guys want a sticker? DM me on Instagram, right here. Got our ARB compressor hidden below the seat, front and rear air chucks. I'm gonna chuck in and air this thing up. Chucked in. Let's air these things up. All right, all done, aired up. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's kinda all over the place but we had a fun time out here today follow my instagram subscribe to the channel see you in the next one thanks